I put 100 Minecraft players on a skyblock island to see what would happen when they were left all alone to survive in hardcore Minecraft. With limited resources and different islands to explore, would players be able to work together to build up a civilization? Or would some players be out for blood? There's only one way to find out. Alright, let the games begin! So, as all 100 players were teleported to one island, the race to get resources and find friends started. Let's go, let's go, 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 go. Just get something, get something. But as this island was ripped apart, the first death on the server happened as Trixo fell into the void, quickly followed by another player. Oh, I'm dead! I see the jungle yeah. island. Oh, You're dead? I am dead, my friends. Dead. Oh, oh, right. We're losing quite a lot of people already. Trying to kill me. So with the chaos on the main island starting to cause a lot of people to die, players that were able to get blocks early on started to try and escape the island and head over towards new ones in the distance. Wait, okay guys, I see a swamp island. They actually has a lot of stuff. Let's go to the jungle island, actually. But as some people started to bridge away, players got defensive of their new islands and started eliminating people that they had just worked with to escape. After only a few minutes, the spawn island had been completely destroyed, and players were in confusion as to what to do next. Right now, we just need to get our own piece of land because everyone yeah. is everywhere. Look at I that line. line. Are we sure? Are we sure we want to go to this island over there? No. Yeah, um, it's, it's going to be very populated. It's better than this, that's for sure. But the more players that started to flee to get their own island meant the more players that were going to end up falling into the void. Snowy? Ah, Snowy. No! no! Players started to form groups of trusted people that they knew that they could work together with to escape the main island and have a chance of survival. Whilst this huge group led by Hated MC bridged away, more people started to try and join their team. But these new players weren't welcome, meaning a spleef battle between the newcomers started, resulting in many more deaths. As the players rushed to the new islands carefully and slowly, some people were desperate to get their hands on the resources first, which saw several people die to their own teammates. Can get I move out of the way, Al Alnac. Who's this guy? Here. That's some, that's I had to do it to him. Soccer just, soccer just did a murder. And I had to do it to him, he was in the way. Whilst this team destroyed the jungle island, some players finally made their way to a swamp island that was filled with resources. Yo! New island just dropped, new island just dropped. Yeah, there's actually wood. <gasps> Get the wood! <laughs> These guys got a load of wood, stone, and even a few pieces of iron. But most importantly, this team was being led by a familiar face, Aerocon. If you don't know who Aero is, he's the absolute beast that went rogue in my last event and wiped out several tribes. So if you haven't already seen that video, go watch it. But yeah, this guy was leading the charge for this team with the goal of surviving the entire event and taking over the server in the process once again. But it wasn't going to be easy with the other teams having found some really good islands after they escaped from the spawn. Like this team. These guys found a small village house that they were able to get a load of helpful resources from, and even some food. But some players on this team really could not follow simple orders. Oh, farmland. Yeah, don't break the farmland. I Dude. Don't really want farmland. <laughs> don't watch out. After I spectated these guys for a bit, it turned out one of the people in their call had actually died earlier on when he was a part of another team, and now he was helping them out to get revenge against the person that killed him. The island with the acacia tree has a, a sheep on it. Oh, he's in the spectator. Yeah, I already died. Of course, this was completely against the rules, and this guy should have been banned as soon as he died, so he was quickly taken care of. Uh, I have been banned. Wait, really? How do you get banned? Did you really get banned? I think because Reese is listening, helping you. <laughs> so with their secret information gatherer banned, now they were straight back to struggling. And they weren't the only team. But before I tell you about this other team, I want to thank Monster Legends for sponsoring today's video. Monster Legends is a free-to-play mobile game that is available on all devices, where you can collect over 900 monsters with different elements and rarities, all whilst you build your own empire. As you play the game, just like the players in this video, you'll have to collect food, gold, and gems to help upgrade your empire. As your empire upgrades, you'll be able to breed different monsters and hatch your new baby monsters that you can evolve and level up. One of the super cool unique features in this game is the YouTuber Island, where you can find your favourite YouTubers as monsters like Dream, Laserbeam, and many, many more. If you download the game using my link in the description or the QR code on screen, you'll get an amazing starter pack reward for free that gives you 50,000 food, 300,000 gold, 10 gems, and the epic monster Kaori. 
A big thanks to Monster Legends for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the island where a member called Alex with glasses managed to get a sapling really early on. But when he was asked to place it down by his teammates to allow them to advance, he didn't seem to want to give it away. Alex, Alex, Alex you gotta understand. We're, We're in this you together. To We're a we team. Have to work together right place now. the saplings down so we can make trees and leave this tiny little island, okay? We need to make a tree so we can leave the tiny island. Look at them. They're working as a team. With that issue finally fixed, these two teams were starting to make really good progress, whilst the other smaller groups were struggling due to a lack of resources. But far away from all of these guys was a small group of players that stood by each other's side from the start after making sure that their teammates could be trusted. Best I love her. I have a question for you. You need to answer before you can join our team. What the? Do you like pesta? Pasta, of course, dude. Uh, like I love it. Not I just can like it. it. <laughs> All right, that's <laughs> great. You're on the team. This team was able to find a pretty big island with a full village on it, giving them not only a solid food source but also a load of blocks to build with. As they worked away on this island, phase three started on the server, meaning players that weren't on a team had only five minutes to join one. The teams that were already established instead used this time to name their small nations. Wait, do we need a team name and something like that? Yeah, uh, Nepal. Right. Nepal. No. Nepal is our team. <laughs> Nepal. I think we will be dubbed like the peaceful islands in the video. Once all players had joined a team of at least two to ensure their survival, the server was already down to 61 players in total after some players really struggled in the starting phases. This is one of the craziest so events soft. of all time. <laughs> There is nothing! Wow, you get nothing in these. We've got eight or nine people yeah, alive, that's pretty good. Yeah. So now that the chaos from the start had calmed down and players had bridged away to their own islands and started progressing slowly, some players realised that phase four was on its way and started taking their guesses as to what was coming next. There will also be a hunger event, guys. Yeah, I'm just... We, we mainly start preparing for the hunger event. And these guys got it right! Somehow they had predicted that the next event would be hunger, which meant when it was time, every player on the server would be hit with the hunger effect, making movement limited, and meaning if they didn't have food, they'd die. But just as this phase was about to start, the small village team, now known as Nepal, were approached by someone on a different island. I have a question for all you guys. Could I could I join your guys' island? I'm not necessarily a fan of mine. Uh, I think of a five euros, we can arrange something. But in the middle of this discussion, phase four started, causing chaos on the server once again. Your hunger event has started. Oh, oh, yeah, oh no. Oh, yeah, we're not ready, ready guys. Still. Just stand still. Oh no. Yeah, we're gonna oh. do something. We're gonna do something. Yeah, we're gonna something. need apples. Luckily for the island run by Aero, when they ventured out earlier on, they found an island with a mushroom cow that they were able to use for mushroom soup and milk, meaning they wouldn't be affected at all by this hunger event. Oh. Wait, we've oh, got, got hunger? We got a cow, right? Oh, oh, we've got the food. But other teams weren't as lucky as them, resulting in some of their players eventually dying from hunger, whilst other teams started to turn to cannibalism to survive. Can we not just oh, eat the remember. villagers, please? Oh, that was <laughs> now that. Stay chill. We're I just need this. this some more. After checking up on all of the teams to see how they were all coping with the hunger, I saw one team trying their hardest to survive by quickly logging on and off the server to prevent the hunger tick from killing them. Since I kind of felt bad that this phase had pretty much wiped out another 20 players, I gave these guys a bit of a lifeline and started dropping a few pieces of food to save them. Guys, if I join back, can you guys give me uh, food? I'm on a half yeah, yeah. okay. hey, hey. There's food dropping from the sky. Food from the sky. Repeat, food from the sky. Hey, yeah, yes, so, I'm on a half a heart. Hey, guys, it's, 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 it's a miracle. <laughs> it's a Christmas hey, miracle. So now that these guys were kind of saved, they continued bridging out into the distance towards an island that they had spotted far, far away with a castle and some food on it. This is the same island that Nepal spotted earlier and were also interested in checking out. Oh no, people, oh, someone's wait. already building to the castle. Anyone? Okay, let's let's forget the castle then. Anyone they're way, yeah, they're way closer than we are. So as the hunger event came to an end, the team that I saved from starvation made their way to the castle island and in the process spotted the distant island of Nepal. I'm on half a Guys, heart. they have a farm over there. They have a whole farm over there. Flash, flash, I need like a whole farm over there. As they hopped on board this island, Phase 5 started, giving players a 20 minute period of freedom, meaning they could now spend the next 20 minutes doing whatever they wished. For most teams, this was just going to be time for farming and collecting resources from their island as they tried to stay alive. But some players took the freedom a bit too freely and decided to end their experience now. We go. We were wait, 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 w
resources. Whereas other teams took this time to start invading people's islands to kill them for their resources. Wait, is there a guy down there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, need to, we need to go down, we need to kill him. What to go, what to go. Oh, yeah, Aero, yeah, you can just do that. Aero <laughs> just oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> You'll never okay. take me alive. That works too. <laughs> All the way over a different part of the sky, Soccer and Robo Panda had narrowly survived the hunger event as the last two members of their team from earlier. And now we're just arriving at an ocean-themed island that contained fish, kelp, and a chest with some loot which helped them out a bunch getting back on their feet. Back at the castle island, this small team were making some great advancements as they got seeds. Lucky, 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 are you stupid, Lucky? Yes, I am. Okay, give me the seeds, Lucky. This one seed can populate a whole damn village growing children. And after checking the chest at the top of the tower, they found a lava and water bucket that they could use to make a cobblestone generator. But after making the generator successfully, one of their members went rogue and killed one of their teammates. Can't mind us. I'm going to die if I. Oh, Snowy! Wait, what, what happened? Who killed him? Snowy. Snowy. Wait, I muted that whole time. I'm so sorry. It was Snowy. Oh my Snowy. god. After their team leader was slaughtered, the team now had a serious question to ask themselves: Should they let Snowy stay on their team or make her walk the plank into the void? It's either Flash or Ice or Snowy, but I can't tell who it is. It was Snowy. Okay. Even though basically the whole team saw Snowy kill Shadow, Snowy was insistent that she didn't kill their team leader. And one of the other members also joined her side, causing the team to split into two sides in this argument. Bro, Snowy's... Snowy's literally innocent. Like, let's stop accusing people because they made a mistake. Not it's accusation. I mean, we saw her kill her. I so with the team split into two, they knew they couldn't afford to fight at this stage, so decided to come up with a mutual agreement. Guys, guys, if she kills again, we kill, we kill, we kill. So now that this team were all back on the same page, they got back to work. Whilst these guys had been arguing amongst their own team, the wow dude had finally made his way to the island of Nepal and started coming up with a plan to stay safe and protected on this server. Just I think we I should think... have a leader, but it's not like a dictatorship. They're just kind yeah. of like... Um, More like a representative. I'll, I'll nominate myself. I know I'm new here, so no hard feelings if I'm not voted, but I will nominate myself. Maybe, like maybe we should let the flower decide. Oh yeah, so I forgot to mention this. Earlier on in this event, TJ, one of the Nepal members, managed to find a flower that he was very protective over, and decided to make that the centerpiece of their team island. So this flower meant a lot to the team, and they treated it with a lot of respect. For the most part. Oi there, you little flower, would you like to be the leader of this band of men? But before their flower could decide which of their members would take over, they had a group of visitors heading towards their island, and these guys weren't peaceful. Friend, Wait, there's so many people. There's a team of like eight. Yeah, there's no, guys, there's an entire house here. Guys, guys there's a team of eight. Let's get them. Are we taking it? All right, we're taking the fight. Are we doing it? <laughs> Let's do it. State of emergency. Yeah, someone oh, is really oh, shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fast. Relay a Where? state of emergency. Guys, don't worry. The flower will protect us. Nepal was under attack from the arsonists of Aero's team, and they weren't going to hold back. Kill them all. <laughs> no mercy. Oh, these guys are. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, these guys are aggressive. Yeah. We're leaving. Don't split up. Run. Don't split up. Run. 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 Before they knew it, Nepal had been invaded by Aero's team, and Nepal had no choice but to evacuate their island to survive. Wait, why going. did we leave, guys? Why, no, why are we going to the castle? Oh. I don't know. What go, to the castle, go? go to the castle. They're go to the castle. Go to the go down. Let's go. 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 Don't turn back. I'm sky basing. In the rush to get away from their attackers, Nepal split up over the skies to try and survive, but they had nowhere else to run when they started heading over towards the castle team. Nepal were cornered, so with no other option, they had to fight back and try to win this battle. Guys, why are we being attacked in the freedom phase? <laughs> hey, go, hey, go back, go back, go Look back, out. go back. Gosh, I'm gonna get the Build up. No. Bro, we're in yeah, trouble, we're in trouble. I don't know how to use swords. Focus oh. on arrow, focus on arrow. He's our oh. leader. He's our leader. Focus I'm gonna die. Arrow. I'm gonna die, guys. I'm dead. No. <laughs> oh. Right, I have the a fall plan. of Nepal. Oh, oh Nepal has fallen. Oh, man. Even though their fallen members had said farewell, two of their members were actually able to escape on a bridge and a sky base just as phase six started. As the moon lifted into the sky, all players had to now spend the rest of this night fighting against mobs from the blood moon. So wait, there's, whoa, gonna whoa, whoa, whoa. No. there's gonna be more. There's gonna be more. Everyone back, to base. back, back to base. up, everyone. Yeah. Come back to base. Oh. Come back to base. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh. Teams started taking to high ground to avoid being caught by the mobs that were spawning down below. But even those on the sky bases were struggling. These mobs weren't letting people have a break. So as players fought their way through the night, using weapons and makeshift traps, eventually 
the sun started to rise once again, and somehow, everyone survived the Blood Moon. With Phase 7 came a time for peace, for most teams. Players now had 45 minutes to build their island into something cool, and the winning island would be given a prize for their island design. The castle team started to build straight away to waste no time hoping that they would be able to claim the prize. But some other islands seem to struggle with this pretty basic phase. The best looking island gets a reward? Well, shoot, we don't have resources to do that. Alright, hopefully we don't get assaulted. After all of Aero's team survived the Blood Moon, they saw the announcement of the new phase and players in their team had a conflict of interest with what to do now. To do what it. if we just yeah, killed the other team? Uh, to be honest, to be honest oh, this, we actually might need this reward. I feel like it, we, no, we let's just kill need the reward. everyone. So as their team debated on what to do, Aero continued to explore the world looking for his next victims, and eventually spotted the Castle Island in the distance and called upon the rest of his team to show up and help him invade. Since these guys were busy building away, they didn't see their enemies building towards the island. And even worse for them, two of their members had just went on an exploration mission and found Sokka's island, but it didn't end very well for them. Dude, get the high ground, get the high ground. I got them both! <laughs> Wait, you killed them both? Nice. <laughs> get out. So the castle island had just lost two more valuable members, just as they spotted Aero's team coming towards them. Oh, uh, what the? Uh, uh, guys. Go, 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 so these guys were pushed away from their islands and ran across the sky bridges, hoping to find somewhere new to settle down. As expected, Aero was not going to let them get away with it that easy. So as they ran away, he started tracking their path and stalking them. It seemed his team weren't interested in the prize for the best island at all. Whilst all of this had been happening, Sokka and Robopanda had spotted a temple floating high up in the sky, and had been working away chopping trees and bridging up for the past 15 minutes. And eventually, they arrived and were able to check it out. There's an elytra! There's an elytra! Oh my god, wait, wait. You take it, you take it, you take it. <laughs> wait, it's gold! gold. It's, it's gold. gold! Uh, what can we use gold for? Gold apples? I... Uh, oh yeah, we need an iron pick. Well, we suck, this is stupid. Uh, I'm sorry to say it. We gotta kill the iron what? golems. As Sokka and Panda were up here grabbing the gold and making some armor, Aero had finally tracked down the old Castle Island members after following their tracks. Unluckily for Sokka and Panda, those players ran for refuge at his island, and brought Aero and his whole team along with them. Aero was able to kill two more members, leaving only one person behind. Snowy, the leader killer. As she ran up the staircase to heaven, she pleaded to Sokka to let him join his team, and Sokka accepted her and stood strong at the top of his bridge in his new gold armor defending his team. I see now our teammate, get them kitted up. Frame, Hello. listen, get your freaking entourage. Out of my island! Look, we can have uh, peace. I, I, Wait, I'm, so look, I, I'm so with these guys. I'm not. I'm not their leader. They can so choose what they want, and we're here for peace yeah. anyway. So it's fine, soccer. What peace? So peace of mind. You rolled up. I was you deep. rolled up with shields and axes. Arrow, I no, have a bow. Guys, I will shoot you right now. To... What do you want yeah, the here? Doctor? There's nothing here. Doctor? We took everything you here. Can, no, I see you a beacon there. Yeah, I'll throw. I'll go throw the beacon off the edge right now. I mean, if we can't have it, no one can. That's yeah, okay. yeah, I'm okay with that. Just leave us alone. I don't know why you're here. I don't know what you want. I have a golden apple. I'll pop it, and I will take every single one of you on because you I know I have the armor. Yet. I know I have yet. the armor. I can fall. You guys can't. Do you really want to end the event? Do you want to die on the event simply over an island? I don't see the point here. Soccer was not moving, and Aero's team were still insistent that they wanted to rule this server and take over so they weren't going to leave without blood. As Aero's team got closer, Sokka knew it was now or never, so started eating a golden apple and jumped into the crowd of enemies. No! I tried to jump off. Oh, oh well. Yeah. Good luck, guys. After heavily overestimating the power of his gold armor, he was slaughtered by the enemies, and now his teammates were helpless, so stood and accepted their fate as their enemies charged towards them. 
After basically turning the island building phase into a purge, Arrow and his team of mercenaries had killed all but one player on the server, even though PvP wasn't even encouraged. And that one player was the lost member of Nepal that escaped from their invasion earlier on. Instead of rushing for this guy, Aero's team actually decided to try and win the island building prize by quickly returning to their mushroom island and starting to build some memorials, houses, and walkways. But this place had nothing on the small, efficient, and clean island that one flip had built up from nothing. So as the island building phase came to an end, the admins and I looked at the two contestants and chose a clear winner, one flip. His reward included resources, weapons, armor, and food. But after hearing the news that they hadn't won the build challenge, Aero's team were not happy and started running across the bridges of the sky to hunt down one flip and his flower island. After a while of searching, he was found, and he spotted them charging towards the island. His time to defend was here. Oh no, they're coming. They have an enlarged rock, right? He tried to stand his ground against them, but since he was outnumbered, and with the help of the Elytra, they managed to get on his island and start burning him out. As the lava started flowing, one flip chose to take away their satisfaction of killing everyone as he leapt into the void and sacrificed his own life. They'll never get me alive. Now, Aero's team were the last team left on the server. They knew they had access to every island they wanted and all of the resources in this world. So they started making their way back through the islands that they had conquered over the past few hours, knowing that they could live in peace and upgrade themselves through this world. This event was a test to see what would happen if 100 players were placed on a skyblock island. And today, we found out that people would fight for resources, backstab their own teams, and ultimately fail to create a functioning society due to greed and a lack of communication. If you think that you could create a working civilization in a world like this, check out my Discord for future events, and subscribe for a bunch more videos just like this that will be coming soon. I hope you all enjoyed this Skyblock experiment, and once again, a massive thank you to Monster Legends for sponsoring this video. Make sure you download the game now and claim your free starter pack, which will help you get a huge head start and speed up your leveling process in the game.